Joe Biden won the presidency, and yet 70 million Americans chose Donald Trump. I would like to understand their reasons. I have tried to compile a list, and if I have left anything out, I would love to hear from any Trump supporter who could explain what I am missing. I am not going to argue against any of these motives or express value judgments. The first category is economics. Reason number one. For many people on the wealthier side, Donald Trump delivered tax cuts that were very beneficial. So a vote for Donald Trump means potentially more money in that voter's pocket. Two, some believe a vote for Trump will mean a crackdown on unfair trade practices and it will bring back jobs from China and other foreign countries to America. Three, I often hear, I work for what I get, which has the implication that others do not. It is the makers versus takers argument. This reason to vote for Trump is that the voter is sick and tired of what he or she believes are freeloaders gaming the system to get undeserved transfer payments from the government. A vote for Trump and the Republicans would stop that. Four, Trump is a businessman who understands how to run our capitalist economy much better than the bureaucrats, economists, and politicians who want to make our country socialist. The next category is religion and culture. Reason number five, abortion, gay marriage, sex change operations, and possibly even contraception are offenses in the eyes of God, and a vote for Trump will help rid these sins from America. Six, America needs to have a strong Christian identity. A vote for Trump will tear down that wall between church and state. Seven, biblical prophecy requires that Jerusalem becomes the capital of Israel before the second coming of Jesus can occur. Trump achieved this. Eight, a vote for Trump ensures Second Amendment rights to own guns will not be whittled away by the Democrats. Nine, Trump stands solidly against political correctness and cancel culture. It is awful to be negatively labeled for standing up for traditional gender rules or religious faith, and Trump will put an end to PC culture. Trump will make it so your life is not destroyed by locker room talk or jokes that the super sensitive take offense to. 10. A vote for Trump is a vote against the mainstream media's portrayal of him in a negative light. The next category is race. Reason number 11. Racial preferences are undeserved. Trump makes clear that affirmative action and other set-asides for racial minorities and women have got to end. 12. Trump will eliminate affordable housing initiatives in the suburbs and keep out minorities who are prone to crime and disorder wherever they appear. 13. Black Lives Matter and Antifa are burning down whole cities. They will defund the police and then burn down the suburbs. Only Trump can stop this lawlessness. 14. A vote for Trump is a vote for the natural supremacy of the white race. This is important because white Christians are best equipped to guide this country forward to an era of peace and prosperity. The final category is belief in conspiracy theories. Reason number 15. A vote for Trump will prevent George Soros from turning America into a socialist, globalist state. 16. 
a vote for Trump will prevent the one world government that the Democrats secretly want. 17. A vote for Trump is a vote for the hero of QAnon, who is working tirelessly with JFK Jr. to rid the country of Democrat pedophile rings. 18. Democracy simply does not work. A vote for Trump will usher in the permanent rule of an American strongman leader who will know best what our country needs to succeed. There are undoubtedly additional rational reasons why people voted for Donald Trump, and I would like to hear them. One of my wisest friends said, it may just be like him rooting for the Yankees over the Red Sox. Because of where he was born, his allegiance was permanently set and no degree of rational persuasion will ever change it. But I am hoping that the future of our country is not like a baseball game. I know that the true racists, conspiracy theory believers, or people who genuinely prefer autocracy will not be reachable. But maybe for some on the center right, an appeal to reason and compromise may work and help us to preserve our democracy.